Jesus, encounter us tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your word come with power and with might and with authority in the name of Jesus. Glorify your holy name. Jesus' name, we are praying. Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome each and every one of us to tonight's vigil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Please, for those of us on the online church, can we confirm the audio the next uh, two or three seconds as we continue? Let's confirm the audio to Jesus. Amen. I just want to receive our audio before we... Okay, thank you, ma. Mrs. Hassan, where have you been? <laughs> God bless you, ma. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we continue. Tonight, we just go straight into the prayer, but I will just take uh, one or two examples to refreshing us and uh, we take our prayer. You know, the, during the communal service, I take us on the topic victory over satanic delay tactics. Victory over satanic delay tactics. Delay itself is not the problem. Delay itself is not the problem. Delay itself is not the problem. Can you hear me? Let me repeat it. Delay itself is not the problem but the problem i'm having with delay is the manipulation and the consequence of satanic satanic and when there is delay satanic delay one two when there is sometimes there's godly delay god may delay something uh, the manifestation of something but during this delay, if Satan should put hand, that is when me or Elua, I have issue. For me, if God said, wait for next year, it simply means I'm not going to die till next year. <laughs> that is it. If I'm asking for, for something from God, and God said, all right, this thing, you cannot have it now, you need to wait till next year. Oh, this cup of water that you are asking for, I'm going to give you, but you need to wait till next, maybe two years. Do you know the meaning? It simply means between now and the next two years, me or Elu, I'm not going to die. Because God has said in the next two years, he's going to give me. So which means I'm going to be alive in the next two years. Is that not an advantage? It's an advantage. So when I'm going, before that two years will lapse, if I'm having a headache, I will tell the headache, headache, you cannot kill me because God said. If I'm having a health issue, I will tell that health issue. Health issue, or the Lua cannot die. Why? Because God said in the next two years, and I must see the two years. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's an advantage. But the disadvantage is there is this. When Satan now show up and put hand, that godly delay will now turn to issue. When Satan now enter and put hand, the delay orchestrated by God will not turn to another thing, will not turn to, to, to evil. I share with all this morning from Genesis 15. 
Genesis 15, God asked uh, Abraham to come to the mountain and bring sacrifice. You know those people that always tell us that uh, there is sacrifice in the Bible. That is where they pick it, but they wrongly are not going there tonight. Abraham carried the sacrifice before God. But before God will show up, you know I showed us from the Bible, I told us there are three times that you carry sacrifice. There are three times in the Bible that the Bible talk about time of sacrifice. The morning sacrifice, the noon sacrifice, the evening sacrifice. The morning sacrifice, you carry it in the morning, the morning hour. That is the first watch of the day. That is 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. For those of us in Africa, when you are going out in the morning and you see some people that they drop sacrifice on the road, you see some people they carry sacrifice, they drop a uh, sacrifice along the path. That is where they pick it from. I'm not saying that one is right. You know, everything of God, Satan will always manipulate it. Morning sacrifice. Then we have the afternoon sacrifice. After the first um, uh, hour, you calculate eight and a half hours. Eight hours, 30 minutes. So if the first hour is what? 6 a.m. You calculate eight hours and 30 minutes. 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8, 8 a.m., 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So eight and a half hours will give you what? 2, uh, 2.30 p.m. That will give you 2.30 p.m. And you know 2.30 p.m. in the desert is always hot. Even in Africa, unless during rainy season, the sun is always at the peak at that time. And everywhere is always hot. For you to go out, you are always scared because the sun is always hot. That is the second sacrifice of the day. When you are carrying that sacrifice, you don't need to bring fire. The moment you bring it, the rays from the fire will come and it will lighten it. Then the third sacrifice of the day, that is the cool of the day. When you say the cool of the day, the Bible will tell you when the sun, is either the Bible uses the cool of the day or when the sun is going down, that is evening. You know when the sun is going down, that is evening. To our own timing, that is 6 p.m. 6 p.m., if you are bringing sacrifice before God, you need to bring uh, fire to light it. You know, for every sacrifice, you must burn them. So morning sacrifice, you bring fire. Evening sacrifice, you bring fire. But afternoon sacrifice, you don't bring fire. When Abraham was going to slaughter his son, Isis, for sacrifice, you remember, he brought what? Um, a rope. He brought a, a knife. And they brought fire. Because it's not going to be what? It's not going to be noon sacrifice. So they need fire. But this time around, Abraham carried sacrifice here. The Bible did not tell us that he carried fire, which means it's going to be afternoon sacrifice. So the fire of God will lighten it. But hear me, God did not show up. When you read that Genesis 15, God showed up. The Bible said, when the sun was going down, that was when God showed up in the evening. So which means Abraham had been there to carry the sacrifice by 2 p.m. God did not show up 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. until in the cool of the day. So you have delay there. If you should carry sacrifice without fire and uh, the evening sacrifice, who is going to lighten it? Where is it going to get fire? There is a delay. You know there are some hidden things that the Bible will not put you need to look at it detail line by line to see the hidden things and the bible now say the moment he put on the fire a for sure you and i know for sure that bed animal called for sure a for sure came and perched on it but the moment he perched on it abraham just drove it away there's an error that sacrifice has been polluted thank god i have the medical people online when you want to give uh, what do you call it injection to your patient if that uh, if you expose it, if that um, injection has been expired, are you still going to go ahead and give the same injection? Uh, Mami Favor, Mrs. Favor, please, can you answer us? You want to give uh, your patient's injection, you look at it, the injection has expired. Are you going to go ahead and still administer that injection? <laughs> Praise the Lord. That was what happened with, uh, no sir, thank you, man. That was what happened with Abraham. A for sure, a dirty animal 
animal that we you and I know that is dirty, animal that God know said is dirty, came and touched the sacrifice. Abraham drove the animal away, but the sacrifice has been answer me. The sacrifice has been corrupted, polluted. That was the sacrifice Abraham said, go ahead and offer unto God. Because you and I know that, number one, a fossil is an animal associated with darkness. A fossil is an animal associated with death. A fossil is an animal associated with bad omen. So when you see a fossil, it simply means that a, a bad omen is, a, a, is, is coming. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. A fossil is an animal that symbol that, that represent uh, God's judgment. A symbol, a, a fossil is a witchcraft bird. A fossil is an animal associated with incarnation purpose. That means the spirit of death bring you by the spirit of death. This is the same animal that touched the sacrifice. Instead of Abraham to change it, he did not change it. He still go ahead and present the same sacrifice. Our medical people say the medication has been the drug has been contaminated. So, I put it to you. The sacrifice that Abraham brought before God and presented to God has been contaminated spiritually at that time. But he went ahead and uh, presented it unto God. And don't forget, a fossil is an animal associated with darkness, with death, and with bad luck. The Bible said, at the cool of the evening, what happened? In verse 12, the Bible said, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham a deep sleep fell upon Abraham and the Bible now said a sudden darkness cover him a sudden darkness cover him a sudden darkness cover him and when God not show up at that time the very first thing God told him was your children you are still single you don't have children right now but your unborn generation that you are going to have they will go into captivity positive negative prophecy negative prophecy that was what Abraham was there for God to bless him. They did not talk about negative prophecy. But the moment that uh, um, that sacrifice was contaminated, it led to God cursing his unborn generation because he presented a dead carcass. He presented a contaminated sacrifice before the Almighty God. And after many years, as Abraham have Isaac, Isaac have Jacob, Jacob have um, Israel, and the children of Israel they went into captivity to fulfill that curse upon Abraham. If God has shown up at the noon time, the normal time of sacrifice, devil will not have come in form of force to touch the sacrifice, so there won't, there, there won't be. Racing or avenue for that negative prophecy. Can I just prophesy to our parents? Any delay that our parents encounter that introduce problem into our life, Abraham had delay and he brought cause problem upon his unborn generation. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. Any delay that your forefather had. Any delay that your forefather encounter and that introduce problem to your life, the ongoing problem now in your life is as a result of that pro that delay that your parents encounter. Today, let heaven scatter it in the name of Jesus. Let it scatter. 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 In the name of Jesus, many of us were paying the price of things we don't know. You have fasted, you have, uh, but the thing keep going. The sickness keep going. Oh, because your mother had the same sickness. Oh, but your father had the same sickness. Oh, this is the uh, 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 issue in your lineage. Oh, you always have this problem in your lineage. Why? Because somebody enter into... I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, my again. Any ongoing problem, any ongoing challenge in your life, that enter into your life as a result of error 
in the life of your forefathers today. Let that crisis, let it expire in the name of Jesus. Let it expire. 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 In the name of Jesus. One more example, and we begin to pray. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. The story of the ten virgins lady. The Bible said five of them are um, wise, while the other five are uh, foolish. But when you study your Bible very well, these people are, the, those five that we said that they are foolish, they have done their calculation. The husband man must come before a particular time. So the oil that is going to be useful, that is going to carry them, was what they don't take extra oil because they have done their calculation. The man must come before this time. So the oil will be sufficient for us. You are going on a journey. For those of you who have cars, you know that when you fill in your uh, uh, your gas um, uh, something, it's going to take you to and fro. Please, man, you need to take another extra uh, jerry can and fill it with fuel and put it inside the boot of your car. No, because you know that, that that fuel, that gas inside that car will take you to and fro. That was what happened to all of them. But when you read your Bible very well, in the book of Matthew 25, the first five, Please, where's my Bible? I want to read verse 5 for us so that we really know the consequence of delay. There may be delay, but when Satan now puts on, is where I have issue. Matthew 25, verse 5. And after this, we begin to take our prayer. Victory over Satanic delay tactics. Sometimes when several want to really, really enjoy a man, you just put delay into the life of that man because you know that that man will not be able to hold on through the, the season of that delay a woman that God has uh, blessed that I'm going to give you a prophetic uh, child, I'm going to give you a glorious child and uh, the woman was having delay in child bearing in that home, the frustration from husband side, frustration from wife uh, five, uh, side that woman will be forced to go and look for alternative and the moment she takes that alternative Amen. The womb will be polluted. The womb will be spiritually contaminated. She's going to have child. She may have children, but no more glorious children. Matthew 25, verse 5. King James Fashion. Why the bridegroom tarried? They all slumber and slept. When you go to the book of Genesis that I read, there was delay and Abraham slumbered he deep sleep fell upon him and slept. Why the bridegroom uh, tarried? What is another word for tarry? Check your dictionary. You will see another word is delay. King James Fashion. When the bridegroom delayed, why did you delay? You told us you are coming at so 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 time. You delay. And they fell asleep. Why? You are supposed to come at the right time. The last person. Saul. When you look at the book of uh, Saul, 1 Samuel 13, 1 Samuel 13, Sa- uh, uh, Samuel promised Saul that I'm going to show up in seven days' time to carry sacrifice for you. In seven days' time. Let me read verse 8. Just angry with a uh, spirit of delay. It's our season. We must not allow delay to set in. If you allow a delay, five minutes like this, it's going to cost, it's going to cost our, our, our folk. 1 Samuel, verse 13, verse... I will read verse 8, verse 11, verse 13. 1 Samuel 13, verse 8. And he tarried seven days. Another word for tarry. Delay. He delayed seven days according to the set time that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Giga. And Samuel came not to Giga. Samuel delay. Another person said, Samuel delay in coming to Giga and the people scattered. The result of Samuel not coming at the appointed time, people begin to scatter. Those that supported Saul, they begin to deny him. 
because of delay, your helpers of destiny that have abandoned you, those that are supposed to support your vision, that abandon you, I pray, let God bring them back in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let's look at verse 11 and verse 13. And Samuel now show up after a uh, Saul carried sacrifice. And Samuel now said, What has that done? Why did you carry the sacrifice? And Saul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and thou comest not within the days appointed, within the set time. You delay, you did not come. And as a result of that, people scattered. Verse 13. And Samuel said to Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. For now, the Lord would have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. If Samuel have come on time, he would have carried the sacrifice for Saul. And the moment he carries the sacrifice for Saul, the Lord would have established his throne. That means his great children. It will be only the children of Saul that will be that will in the show be king over Israel. But Samuel delay in coming, and as a result of that delay, Saul carried sacrifice. Saul entered into where he's not supposed to enter. Saul did what he's not supposed to do, and as a result of that, he lost that opportunity. Where did you go that you are supposed you are not supposed to go? You may not answer. Listen to me. If there's delay in your life and somebody took you to one baba, to one occultic place, yes, what they asked you to do, you did not do it. But the moment you went, hey, there's problem. The aura of that place, the moment you enter into that place, you have entered into the covenant that bind that place. And when you come back, you say, hey, they asked me to go, but I only follow them. But pastor, uh, what, what, the, what the man said I should do? I told them that I will come back. I did not go back home because I know God did not have interest. God did not want me to do it. But you have been there. Saul entered to where he's not supposed to enter. God Saul entered into the, uh, into, the, into the tabernacle where he's not supposed to enter. That was the problem. Any problem in your life orchestrated by the spirit of delay, I pray for you tonight. Let it expire in the name of Jesus. Let's lift up our hand and appreciate our Lord our God for tonight. Let's bless His holy name because tonight, victory over satanic tactics of delay is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. Every tactics of delay that the enemy are programmed into your life, to your marriage, to your business, to your career, because it's coming to an end tonight. Lift up your hand and appreciate God. Bless His holy name. Give Him thanks. Give Him praise. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to take the very first prayer we pray this morning. And uh, we had other prayer to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Say every delay tactics of the enemy to abort my testimony, to postpone my testimony, to hinder my testimony. Say in the name of Jesus. You that delay tactics be aborted, 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 to abort your testimony. Command it to be aborted. In the name of Jesus. Let it be aborted. 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 The late tactics of the enemy to abort your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Be aborted. 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 Command it to be aborted in the name of Jesus. Let it be aborted. Let it be aborted. Let it be aborted. Command it to be aborted. The late tactics of the enemy to abort your testimony. Command it to be aborted in Jesus' name. We are praying. Abraham brought the sacrifice, he was to carry it out because he did not carry fire along during the time of Isaac. 
it went there with fire. But this one, it did not carry fire, which means it's going to be the sacrifice of the afternoon, the sacrifice of the noon, 2.30 p.m. According to calculation, God did not show up. God showed up in the evening, in the, in the, when the sun was going down in the evening. But before God showed up, the first shot came and touched the sacrifice. The sacrifice was contaminated. But Abraham still went ahead because he did not see any bad thing. Yes, the animal came and I drove it away. But the, that sacrifice had been contaminated. He went ahead and presented it unto Almighty God. And God was angry. Why will you give me something that is not good? Why will you give me contaminated sacrifice? Why will you give me polluted sacrifice? Yes, I promise you that your children will inherit the land, but because you brought contaminated sacrifice before me, those children, they will go into captivity first. That's just what happened in Genesis. Many of the things we are facing right now is just as a result of delay. When our parents cannot hold on again, they visited occultic people, they visited one uh, Shango man, one Dibia man. Baba, I don't understand what is going on in my life. Just help me check. Help me ask God. Help me check. What is going on in my life? I don't understand. And he just check. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Can we take that prayer again? Delay tactics of the enemy that introduced problem into my life you that delay that be aborted by fire in the name of jesus be aborted be aborted be aborted be aborted be aborted be aborted command it to be aborted in the name of jesus delay that is of the enemy that introduced problem to your life that introduced problem to your marriage command it to be aborted in the name of jesus let it be aborted 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 in the name of jesus the late tactics of the enemy decree and declare let it be aborted 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 in jesus name we are praying let's see going to repeat that prayer it's a tactics when God bless Daniel, angel carry his blessing, go and give it to him. Somebody somewhere along the road, he died for 21 days until another higher angel have to come and deliver that one. Sometimes ago, when, I, when God said I should go, when it was time for me to go fully on, online, see what, when I said hell, Hell is understatement for me and my family. And I was, opportunity was coming, was, you know, was beaming like this. Come and take, come and take, come and take. And I have a revelation, which I don't understand. I wrote it down. And a pastor called me, I've shared this. A pastor called me to come and take up a, a job. It's a church or an opportunity. I will be head of a church. And I said, okay, I will go and pray about it. The moment I enter, I saw that I should not take it. But hear me, at that time, not even bill for me as husband to feed my wife and my children, it was difficult. We are not living from hand to mouth. We are not even living on anything at that time. It was hell. That was when they asked me to come and take one job so that at least I can have something to feed my family. And God in that relation was telling me, don't take it, Wait. I will come and bring your own. Ah, when are you bringing my own? When am I going to start my own? When am I going to start my own? I will be able to take care of my family. It takes the grace of God. It takes the grace of God. It will take the grace of God. I met my brother at that time. Before that time. My brother said, we we'll keep praying. He wept me with me, sincerely. He's an elderly person, about 70. He wept bitterly. He said, this is where I miss it because there was nobody to cancel me. He said, on this assignment, you will face it, but that will be the time for you to launch out. What you just need to do, withdraw and begin to cry before God. Hear the testimony. When I started it and God began to help me, 
my, me and my mother were called talking one day and she said, I call your brother. Is there no way that we can help this boy so that things are difficult for him so that he will be... And my mother said, my brother said, if you help him, you will introduce problem into his life. If you help him, if you go and browse, go to any occultic man, this is my son that wants to do the work of God. Things are difficult. What should we do? You cannot use Satan to help God. Leave him. The only thing you can do is, you are the mother. In the morning, be pray for him. In the night, before you sleep, just mention his name and ask God that gave you to help him. But if you put an in his matter, the journey of 40 days will turn to 40 years for him. And my mother said, it was a difficult thing for him, for her. How will I be seeing you suffering and will not be able to do anything? I will just fold my hand. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a difficult. So, somebody may be telling me, all right, you don't understand. What I'm passing through is hell. You don't pass through hell like the way I pass through hell. You don't pass through hell the way I pass through hell. My land, I'm sitting in the same house by the grace of God, so she can be hearing me. My landlady went to court and got, got court injunction to throw me out of the house because I was owing house rent. That was the same time that they asked me to come and take job. That was the same time my mother was crying, how can I help, help this boy? But that man said, don't help him. Let him pass through the stage. The stage was a difficult stage. I don't know if you are passing through that difficult stage now. Because you know I'm preaching somewhere and somebody said, Hey pastor, because you don't know what I'm passing through. He am passing through hell. Fire is burning me. Ah, yes now. Fire, fire did not only burn me. Fire consumed me at that time. But thank God that I did not look for alternative. Thank God that nobody helped me. You understand what I mean by help? What I mean by help is having juju, using one soap. To bath, using warm water to bath, taking some concussion that that concussion will help you. Forget it; it will bring pollution and contamination. It will mar the testimony. It will injure the testimony. It will postpone the testimony. When I say I'm not doing that job, the same very month, a month after, God said, "Start prayer avalanche. Start prayer avalanche." So if I have taken that alternative. If my mother have helped me and they say I should give you this soap, you all this water, bath with it, drink the water. Eh? My your baby say on a man ladder, means door will open. People will begin to troop me. Have you Satan to do the work? Have you Satan to help God? So you just be like Abraham. Instead of blessing, it will lead to a cause. Say, oh Lord my God, where I have missed it in this journey say where i have missed it in the journey of life and it opened my life to attack say where i have missed it in the journey of life say where my parents have missed it in the journey of life and it opened my own life my own marriage my business my career it opened it to attack say lord have mercy on me tonight in the name of jesus as the lord god to have mercy on you as the lord god to have mercy on you where you have missed it, where your parents miss it, where they thought that they are trying to help you or they are trying to help themselves, and it opened your life to satanic attack. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. You take the next prayer. Say, satanic manipulation. Hold it down, my testimony. Hold it back, my testimony. Say, scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter, 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 scatter. Satanic manipulation. Hold it down my testimony. Hold it back my breakthrough. Hold it down my marital breakthrough. Hold it down the breakthrough of my business. Say in the name of Jesus. Scatter, 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 scatter. Command that manipulation to scatter. In the name of Jesus. Any manipulation from Satan. Hold it down your testimony. Hold it down your breakthrough. Command it to scatter. In the name of Jesus. Scatter, 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 scatter. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say satanic manipulation. 
holding down my helpers of destiny. Daniel's helpers of destiny was that angel bringing his blessing. But the helpers of destiny, the angel was arrested. Say in the name of Jesus, say satanic manipulation. Hold it down, my embers of destiny. Say scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, scatter, 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 scatter. Any satanic manipulation, any satanic stronghold. Hold it down, my embers of destiny. Arresting my embers of destiny. You that satanic stronghold. You that satanic manipulation. Scatter, 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 command them to scatter. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare. Let it scatter, 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 let it scatter. In the name of Jesus, 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 let it scatter. In Jesus' name, we are praying. There are some people that enemy will program them into our life. And as long as they are in our life, there won't be any progress. As long as they are in that business, if you are a business owner, as long as that particular staff is in your business, then your business cannot progress. When you saw all this here in the Bible, there is nothing new again. When you read your Bible very well, the Bible says, as long as Lot was in the life of Abraham, there was no progress. As long as Lot was in the life of Abraham, the promise of God in his life did not uh, 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 show up. But the Bible said one day, and after Lot was separated from Abraham, and the Lord showed up, that was when God said, by this time next year, your wife will conceive. After, look at that statement, and the Lord appeared unto Abraham, after Lot was separated from him. Another version say, after Lot was separated from Abraham, and the Lord appeared unto him. After Lot was separated from Abraham and the Lord appeared unto him again. For years, God did not show up. For years, no, no prophecy. For years, no revelation. But after Lot was separated from Abraham and the Lord appeared unto him again and the Lord said, Who is in your life? Who is in your marriage? Who is in your business? Who is in your environment? It can be your brother. It can be your sister. It can be your uncle. It can be your mother. It can be your sister. It can be your father. I'm not saying they should die. But there must be separation. There must be separation. Or you yourself, who are you in their life? But because you are in their life, you journey with them, you move with them. There can't be progress. There can't be progress. Come on, separate you and them. Whoever is in your life, whoever you are in their life, whoever you are joining together, Whoever is moving with your children and do not allow your the destiny of your children to progress. Whoever is moving with your husband or your wife and do not allow your husband or your wife to progress. There must be separation. You, you are the one that did not know. Some of them are the one that did not know. But Satan knows that these people, when they are in your life, you cannot progress. So we bring them your way. My, bro, uh, my, close, my close friend, my sister, my uncle, ah, me and that my sister, we are like this. Me too, I have passed through it too. <laughs> me and my family, I cannot do without them. Every day, I must see them. But the ministry refused, the ministry that God promised me refused to show up until God opened my eyes. I saw it that I must excuse myself. Eh? Every day you'll be going to date, you'll be seeing there, you'll be seeing there. What will you, it's me that you must see. And I just put an end to it. I have nothing against them, but uh, I will not run after them again. And I turn, I begin to run after God. And uh, the ministry begin to show up. And I begin to see how I'm going to run it. But while I, during that period when I was running after my sister, my brother for help. <laughs> Holy Spirit, help me tonight. Say in the name of Jesus. Say anyone in my life. Say anyone in my marriage. Say anyone in my business. 
Indri the testimony of God in my life. So Lord my God, expose them, separate us, expose them, separate us, 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 separate us. Pray that prayer. Anyone in your life that their presence is indri the manifestation of God in your life. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, separate us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, separate us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, separate us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, separate us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare. Let the Lord God separate you and them. Let there be separation. Let there be the name of Jesus. So Lord, separate us. Anyone in my life, anyone in my marriage, anyone in my business, anyone in my career, anyone I'm joining with, that their presence is entering your movement, is entering your testimony, is causing delay, postponing our testimony. Lord, separate us. In the name of Jesus, separate us, 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 separate us. Oh Lord, separate us. Anyone in my life that their presence is in the move of God, Lord, separate us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, separate us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, separate us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus, say, pull down. Satanic strong stronghold of delay. Satanic stronghold of delay. I pull it down. Are you ready? Say in the name of Jesus. Say every stronghold of delay. Every satanic stronghold of delay over my life. In the name of Jesus. Be put down. 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 Begin to put them down. In the name of Jesus, satanic stronghold of delay over your life, over your marriage, over your business, over your career. Say in the name of Jesus, you that stronghold, be put down, 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 be put down. Satanic stronghold of delay. In the name of Jesus, be put down, 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 be put down. Pull it down. Any satanic stronghold of delay over your life, over your marriage, over your business, over your career. Say in the name of Jesus, be put down by fire, 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 be put down by fire. In the name of Jesus, satanic stronghold of delay. In the name of Jesus, be put down by fire. In the name of Jesus, be put down by fire. In the name of Jesus, be put down by fire. In the name of Jesus, be put down by fire. In the name of Jesus, be put down by fire. Be put down, 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 be put down. Command it to be put down. In the name of Jesus, stronghold of delay. Command it to be put down. In the name of Jesus, command it to be put down. In the name of Jesus, command it to be put down. In the name of Jesus, every stronghold of delay. Say in the name of Jesus, be put down, 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 be put down. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say any satanic structure of delay, put in place to delay my testimony. Any satanic structure. Whatever manipulation, whatever tools, whatever ways that Satan wants to go about it to cause delay. Do you understand the prayer now? Say in the name of Jesus, any satanic structure of delay put in place to delay my testimony is scattered by fire. In the name of Jesus, scatter by fire, 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 scatter by fire. Command you to scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare, scatter by fire, 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 scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare, let it scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. Any structure of delay put in place by Satan to hinder my testimony, to delay my testimony. Scatter, 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 scatter. Command it to scatter in the name of Jesus. Command it to scatter in the name of Jesus. Command it to scatter in the name of Jesus. Command it to scatter in the name of Jesus. Command it to scatter in Jesus' name. We are praying. You are going to take that prayer again. Any structure put in place. 
any structure put in place by Satan. You know, I said this in the morning. There is a shift in the spirit realm. God is changing time and season. It's not our December. You are waiting for December. No problem. But there is a change going on right now. But the irony of it is this. They call something in football, windows uh, opportunity, Abby. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, um, the window system, where the transfer window, where a player can be exchanged from one uh, camp to another, from one country to another, from one uh, football club to another. The moment that transfer window close, any player must, oh, must that want to exchange, that want to go to another better club, must wait another year. There's a time frame for me. What is the meaning? There's a time for everything. I met a man of God sometimes ago. And God said, It's time to set out and be delivered so that I can go and start what I really want him to do so that I can bless him. God said, The time is on now, but his, his, his own window time is narrow. I said, Narrow. And the Lord said, Yes. It's not a long season. The moment that window closed, it's not going again forever. I have to go and meet that man and I explain to him the revelation I saw. I said, sir, God is saying this is time for you to move. The wife was there. They look at themselves. Say, ah, how did you know? We know this. We are planning it, but we don't know how to go. I said, the Lord said it's going to be tough, but it's narrow. If you don't go now, you cannot go again. Before my marriage, before I married, that revelation. <laughs> so, which means almost about 15 years or over 15 years now. The man miss it. The man is in the same spot. Even, I, I should not say the same spot. Yes, he's still sitting on the same position, the same office that he was then. The man is still there. But spiritually, the man has been downgraded. And physically, in that office, in that place where the man is working, the man has been drangaded. The man has been benched. <laughs> Let me use the word. It's not useful again. They don't use him. They are just paying him salary. I learned that sometimes ago, they asked him that he should go and look for a job he want to do, that they will give him money to go and start. At what age? It's too late. <laughs> it will not be too late for you in the name of Jesus. I say it will not be too late for you in the name of Jesus. It shall not be too late for you in the name of Jesus. That is a structure. It means the structure. The structure is you must go within a, a period of time. But the devil make everything difficult for him to go out at that time. Can we take that prayer? I have uh, like five to ten minutes more. Say in the name of Jesus. Say delay structure put in place to hinder my testimony this season. Say you that delay structure consumed by fire, scattered by fire, be consumed by fire. Scatter 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 by fire, be consumed by fire. In Jesus' name, they are scattered. Say in the name of Jesus. Any blockage, any barrier in the spirit realm against me reaching my goal say clear away in the name of jesus any blockage any barrier in the spirit realm orchestrated from the pit of hell say in the name of jesus clear away clear away begin to command them to clear away in the name of jesus any blockage any career call any barrier command them to clear away in the name of jesus command them to clear away in the name of jesus command them to clear away in the name of jesus in jesus name we are praying Say last minute disappointment, last minute failure. Do you hear that? Last minute disappointment, last minute error, last minute failure. Say I reject you in the name of Jesus. Last minute disappointment, last minute error, last minute failure. I reject you. 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 I reject you over my life. 
over my marriage, over my business, concerning my oncoming testimony, last minute disappointment, last minute failure. I reject you in the name of Jesus. 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 I reject you. I reject you. I reject you. Last minute disappointment. Last minute failure. I reject you in the name of Jesus. I reject you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say by the blood of Jesus, by the fire of Holy Ghost, say I break into pieces any rod of wicked. Limiting my progress, manipulating my ways. Say you that rod of wicked in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. Every rod of the wicked to manipulate my way in that this season at this time break by fire 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 jesus name we are praying two or three more prayer for tonight you are going to pray father this season i reject wrong cancer do you that prayer there's some advice there's some cancer that will be too sweet when you write it down look at it oh this is the voice of God. <laughs> it's not the voice of God. Enemy just program it to bring in last minute failure into, into one's way. You did not know. Devil know. You did not know. The enemy know that you are just at the corridor of your breakthrough. They have tried up all things possible, but they fail. So they know that if you can make sure make you take a wrong step, a wrong cancer. They will bring it. Hey, hey, hey. A pastor. Not just pastor. A prophet. A prophet. Say, all right. The Lord said you should take that job. Ha. I said, hey, sir. He said, all right, don't argue with me. Amen. It's one of my fathers in the faith. The Lord said you take that job. It's a good job. But for me, God is telling me, don't take the job. <laughs> But the prophet said, the Lord said, you take that job. I am taking the job, I will miss it. I will take the wrong cancer. He said, don't you see? When you take it, from there, you begin to go to London. You begin to go abroad. You begin to fly. <laughs> Amen. But in the spirit realm, I saw that if I take that job, it was a will share. You know will share? It will grant me for life. <laughs> wrong cancer. Say in the name of Jesus. Say at this period of time in my life. Say I reject wrong cancer in the name of Jesus. I reject wrong cancer in the name of Jesus. I reject wrong cancer. Wrong advice that will manipulate my way. Say I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. Wrong cancer. Wrong step at the last minute. I reject it in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Listen to this prayer. I want to combine them. You are free to add more to it, but listen to what I have in my notes here. Father, release my life. Release my marriage. Release my helpers. Release my breakthrough. Release my children. Release my testimony. Release my visa. Release my finance. Concerning my business, release my profit from satanic storehouse. Satanic strong house may be that border post. The helpers of Daniel, the blessing of Daniel was arrested at the border post. The border post. Praise the Lord. The blessing of Daniel, the helpers of Daniel, the two of them were arrested at the border post. They are about to just enter into that country and they were arrested and detained. So your blessing, your breakthrough, your healing, your purpose of destiny, your angel, your testimony, your visa, your finance, your profit in that business. That have been delayed. They have been arrested at the border. They are looking at you, but you are not seeing them. They are saying we have been released, but we are they are holding us down here, unknown to you. You are going to declare and declare, oh Lord, release them tonight in the name of Jesus. 
whatever is your prayer request, whatever you have been asking God for, whatever you have been seeking the face of God for, you mention it and begin to ask, Oh Lord, release them unto me. Are you ready? Say in the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, my God, say by your right hand, release my life, release my helpers, release my angel, release my marriage, release my children. Release my testimony, release my breakthrough, release my healing, release my increase, release my enlargement, release my fruitfulness, release my finance. In the name of Jesus, from satanic stronghold, from the hand of darkness, from manipulation of darkness, oh Lord my God, release my life, release my earth, release my breakthrough, my empires of destiny, Lord my finance, release them, 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 decree and declare. Whatever you want God to release for you, mention it. Let that be a release. Your customers that they have abandoned you, say, Lord, release them in the name of Jesus. Your empires of destiny that abandon you, say, Lord, release them. 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 My breakthrough, my testimony, my joy in the name of Jesus. Lord, release them. Release them, 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 release them. Say Lord, release them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, release them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, release them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, release them in the name of Jesus. My breakthrough, my testimony from the four corners of the world, my breakthrough, my lifting, my promotion, my angel. My angelic assistance from the four corners of the world, from satanic coven, from satanic storehouse. Oh Lord, release them. Lord, release them. Lord, release them. Lord, release them. My next level, my promotion. Lord, release them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Two more minutes. Pray it. Pray it. Mention the name of your children, your husband, your wife. Let God release their breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Let God release their breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, release them. Release them, O oh Lord. 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 My breakthrough. Lord, let that be released in the name of Jesus. Release them, O oh Lord. My testimony. My lifting. Lord, release them. Lord, release them. Lord, release them. Lord, release them. Let that be released. In the name of Jesus, let that be released. 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 Decree and declare. Let the Lord God release them. In the name of Jesus, your breakthrough, your testimony, your lifting. Say, Father, let that be released. In the name of Jesus, let that be released. In the name of Jesus, let that be released. In the name of Jesus, my promotion, my next level. Father, let that be released. In the name of Jesus, let that be released. In the name of Jesus, let that be released. In the name of Jesus, let that be released. In the name of Jesus, let that be released. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release them. Lord, release them. Lord, release them. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I pray, can we lift up our two hands, please, wherever you are, lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. I decree, I declare upon every one of us, any delay that is of the enemy, to hinder our testimony, to abort our testimony, to postpone our testimony this season, let it be in the, in the name of Jesus, let it be aborted, let it be aborted. Every plan of hell to hinder, to postpone, to delay, to arrest our testimony, let it be aborted in the name of Jesus. Let it be aborted in the name of Jesus. Satanic manipulation over that your oncoming testimony. In the name of Jesus. Let it be aborted. Let it be aborted. Let it be aborted. I decree, I declare, as you are raising your two hands up, any manipulation going on in the spirit realm to make you miss that opportunity, to make that opportunity delay, to end out that opportunity, to postpone that opportunity, to, 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 to take the opportunity, to, to divert that opportunity from you. I decree, I declare, let that manipulation, let that attack, let it be in the, in the name of Jesus. Anyone in your life, anyone in the life of your spouse and your children, and their presence is entering the testimony of God, let God separate us in the name of Jesus, concerning your children and them. Let there be separation. I decree, I declare, delay tactics 
of the enemy this season. Let it be aborted in the name of Jesus. Every resources you need, financial resources, human resources, every resources you need for you to move to your next level, your helpers of destiny, those that must come into your life to help you in order for you to achieve that goals, those that must partner with you in that business in order for your business to increase and enlarge, those that must come and advise you, those that must come and journey with you, those that must come and work with you for that business to increase and enlarge. That's your customer that must come back, that parent, that neighbor that must come back to your life in order for your business to blossom. Every business owner here, every customer that have abandoned you and they must come. Every customer that must come into your business this season, I decree, I declare, let every release them in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Let there be a release. Let there be connection. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tell your business the Lord will increase and enlarge it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase it and enlarge it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase it and enlarge it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase it and enlarge it in the name of Jesus. Define opportunity this season. You will not miss it. You will not miss it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. As many of you that are on sick bed, as many of you that you are treating one ailment or the other. This is it. The Lord will raise you up in the name of Jesus. The Lord will raise you up. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. You will not miss those opportunities. Your lifting this season, you will not miss it. Your testimony this season, you will not miss it. In the name of Jesus. Every business owner in the house, please, can you just lift up your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, begin to worship God. Every business, you are the, I'm not talking about those who are working on salary, you are business owner. Please lift up your hand, begin to wave your hand, begin to appreciate God, begin to appreciate God for that increase. And for those of you who are working on salary, lift up your hand and begin to appreciate God for favor, favor. But if you are a business owner, lift up your hand, begin to appreciate God. Begin to wave your hand. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. There's a chain. There's a chain. There's a release. There's a release. There's a release. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. This is the month of September. October, November, December. If you are a business owner, you are online. you are a business owner, you are listening to this message. Write this prophecy down. The last three months. I think God said it. We have it. I said it before. I'm just hearing it now. I'm hearing it now. Wow. Thank you. Please, every business owner, can you just lift up your hand and just wave it, appreciate God? Because I'm just hearing, I saw, what I saw is this. The Lord opened my eyes, I saw a truck being released. When we are praying for that business, I saw a truck being released. And the Lord said, the increase of that business, I'm releasing it. So when I said we should lift up our hand and begin to wave it. And the Lord said, what the profit that you are not able to make from January to this uh, uh, September, that the last three months, that the profit you are going to make, the increase you are going to, to have, is going to be more than what you're supposed to earn. Nine months. What you're supposed to have that you did not receive. The three months that you are going to have more than enough. And now remember that I think there's a prophecy for that for this year. Once again, can we lift up our hand and appreciate God tonight? Let's lift up our hand. Let's appreciate God for tonight. Let's bless His holy name. Say thank you, Jesus. Because it's my sissy. Say thank you, Jesus. Because I enter into my sissy of increase, my sissy of enlargement. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. As we go into this weekend, the hand of the Almighty God will guide us in the name of Jesus. 
Let's go into the remaining days this month, the remaining days this year. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns and every one of you in the name of Jesus. There shall be lifting, there shall be increase in the name of Jesus. The Lord will honor His word in your life in the name of Jesus. He said the last three months, there shall be increase. So I decree, I declare, that word that is from God, the Lord will honor it in your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord will honor it in your business in the name of Jesus. The Lord will honor it in your career in the name of Jesus. Somebody is rising. That business on ground, God is lifting it up. God is lifting it. God is lifting it. God is lifting it. God is lifting it. Can we just take one minute and say, Father, I receive resources for that project. <laughs> say, I receive resources for that project. You, that person, say, I receive resources. Define resources for that project ahead of me. Thank you, mighty Father. On that project, you will not be put to shame. The finance will come. The resources will come. Men and women will support you. And the Lord will back it up. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we are praying for those of you who send in your seed your offering I pray for you may your seed may your seed and offering to this ministry may he begin to open doors for you in the name of Jesus may he begin to open door for you in the name of Jesus the Bible said Noah carry sacrifice Genesis chapter 8 Genesis chapter 9 and the Lord smell it and the Lord bless him I decree, I declare for every one of you who partner with us on this assignment to make sure that this ministry continue on, 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 online. Your seed, your offering, your tithe. May God begin to smell it and may, the blessing, may it begin to attract the blessing of God upon you in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. Jesus' name I pray. Once again, good morning, sir. Good morning, man. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. You are listening to this audio. You are saying, Pastor, I am blessed. I want to give an offering. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Just send a message to plus 234-80-62-68-62-55. I give you the account detail and watch out. The remaining three months this year, the remaining three months this year, the Lord will confirm his word in your life in the name of Jesus. Once again, good morning, sir. Good morning, man. To every one of us online, may the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Welcome to your new season. Welcome to your season of joy. Welcome to your season of lifting. Welcome to your season of testimony. Welcome to your season of recovery. In the name of Jesus. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Happy.